girl is going to paint her hair and do a DIY balayage at home with a pastry brush. Hey everybody, it's Sarah, the Wealthy Optimist. Today I'm going to be fucking with my hair. Just kidding, so, well, not at all kidding. It's actually happening. But um, what happened was I went to a salon. I'm in Florence, Firenze in Italia. And I went to a salon yesterday and he totally butchered my hair. Like, this part looks okay, you know, but this was mostly like this color already. Um, but I will show you what he's done to my hair. Okay, butcher is a big term, but he's like really buggered it up. Like, look at this. I have like skunk lines. Isn't that bad? Can you see that? You can see it, right? Like, look at that. And on this side, and they're like right on the top too. Like on this side, look at that. It's terrible. I cried yesterday. Like, look at that. I used to dye my hair better when I was like 15 or 16 at home with box dye. So anyways, and you can see where he like tried to put in some highlights. I'm gonna show you a picture of what I asked for. Okay. So it's my 30th birthday coming up in like three weeks. So I wanted, I know, I know I don't look 30, you know. Thank you, you're so sweet. You look great too. Seriously, I wanted my hair to be like super, super blonde again. So this is what it looked like last year. Yeah, so that's me and that's with like blonde highlights everywhere. And it was like super, super blonde and you can tell that it's, that it's foils because the top, yeah, you can tell it's foils, see, um, because the top you can see a mixture of my natural root in there and then it gets longer obviously at the bottom because I was getting foils done a lot. Um, and I loved my hair like this and so I was so excited. Um, me and my mom are going to, uh, she's coming to meet me. I'm in Florence for a month by myself and then she's coming to meet me and we're going to Rome and Venice together and I wanted to be like super blonde. Yeah, this is what I got, I got. And look at my roots too, it looks like he didn't even put foils in there. What did he do? I don't understand. I was there for four hours too. Four freaking hours. By the time he started blow drying it and I realized that my hair looked exactly, and also my hair was already this color. Like if you've seen my previous videos, this is my hair color right now. It looks like it didn't even change. I have been traveling for the past two months straight and I have not had my hair done at all in those two months. And it is like super orange and super grassy and you can see my roots growing out. And so I decided today I was going to go and treat myself to getting my hair done. And so at, by the time I started blow drying it, I was like, just stop touching me. Just stop touching my head. I'm gonna leave. And I pointed this out to him, one of these guys, this craziness. And he was like, oh, don't worry. That's gonna blend in with the top. And I'm like, no, no. That's not blending in with anything ever. It looks horrendous. And so he was really sweet though. He was really nice, I'll, I'll give him that. Although he didn't know what he was doing and his foil game was like way off. He did offer to fix it for me. He did not charge me because obviously he could see what he had done to my head and it looked nothing like the picture I showed him. I don't know. So uh, he offered for me to come back to the, tomorrow, which is today. And there's no way I was putting myself through another four hours at the hair salon with a guy who seemingly doesn't know what he's doing. Cause this is bleeding. This is like, he didn't put the foils close enough to my root. First of all, that's why it looks like I still have the exact same amount of roots as when I went in there. And cause I do. And he didn't put them tight enough. So the bleach actually, I guess, bubbled and bled out. And then also he didn't leave it on long enough because it's a weird yellow color. And I just, I can't even. So I asked my friend who is a hairstylist if I could try to fix it myself, because as you guys know, I've tried fixing my hair myself before and it turned out great. I will link my video um, for your the do it yourself balayage and sombre, which turned out amazing. I loved it so, so much. But right now I wanna be blonder than that. We went over what there was available in Florence and I'll insert a video here of the stuff that we got. Okay, so my friend sent me to the store and was like, you fixed your hair a million times before, so don't freak out. Find a brush, like, a barbecue brush if you can't find an actual like hairdresser's paintbrush mm -hmm. and this is what I found these are my options <laughs> okay I'm done with life now I'm literally gonna try <laughs> either this okay or this but this doesn't look functional I, I think I gotta pick the the heavy-duty paintbrushes I mean come on 
and I'll show you the dye I got. And we're gonna try this because I don't have access to a Cosmoprof or a you know hair salon. So I've seen this in Canada. It looks like it's you know blonde, so and no ammonia, so less damage. Okay. And this is the final part of the ensemble of my hair rescue. This is much needed, okay? This is probably the most important part at this at this at this moment. Now I say we, but I'm here by myself. She was just there in spirit. Jess, I love you. Oh, there's the utensils. So <laughs> originally I was gonna pick the paintbrushes, but um, I messaged her and she was like, they're not really like firm enough, so get this uh, pastry brush instead. So girl is going to paint her hair and do a DIY balayage at home with a pastry brush and some Garnier not sponsored um, Italian hair dye. So although they have this in Canada and that's why we picked this one because I, I've seen it before in Canada and a lot of the Italian ones were very dark hair because you know we're in Italy everybody has dark brown hair. So let's get on with it. You're gonna want to take off the tag for your pastry brush before you commence. So ready to go. This is a little bit long but whatever. I feel like it's gonna work. She had originally told me to get a barbecue brush that you brush barbecue sauce on ribs with. And I was like, that's hilarious! And I was like, wait, that's actually a good idea. That would, that would essentially work. <laughs> Today we use pastry brushes. And I got my wine. We are literally going to mix all of the things. Fortunately, it's in Italian, but... Okay, so we have a creme something. Colorations creme, that's for color. After color care. Okay, so this one's in English. So this is like the conditioner that you put in your hair after you dye it. And we've got gloves. I don't normally have gloves, so this is exciting. Can we also just talk about my shirt for a minute? Vancouver is for hustlers. My friend Ron got me this shirt before I left um, to travel around the world. So a little memory of my home city, Van City. I wish they had English instructions, actually. No, but they got, you know, international language of drawing. So, um, yes, we're going to just mix these things in there. So this one, number one, and this one, number two, are going inside this guy. I forgot to put my gloves on. Go figure. We're ready for surgery. Maybe I should stop with the line. <laughs> We got this guy, and we're gonna take this little snappy thing off. We're gonna shake it up. Very awkward to hold with the gloves. I just realized that we're gonna need a bowl because I'm not actually going to use this thing because I'm not dyeing my hair that way. So, uno momento. First things first, what you wanna do is you want to section your hair down the middle. So now, my mirror is here and there is no physical way for me to put the camera in front, so I'm gonna keep turning like this, so I apologize. And then split it down the middle in the back too, okay? So you can see what's happening there. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your hair dye and your pastry brush <laughs> and just stir it up a little bit more, you know, make sure everything's thoroughly stirred. We're gonna go right down the middle. Now, the one bad thing is this brush is just, it's thin. It's not like a flat hairdresser brush. But it's doing its thing, it's doing the job. Okay, I can't feel what's happening with these gloves on. There we go. And you wanna go all the way down the back middle too. And the other side. This brush is way too long, it's very awkward. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this is great. I'm gonna use the help of my fingers. Okay, that feels saturated. Now, you're gonna lift up your hair here and you're gonna do your hairline. Now, I'm just following the lines of my roots. And praying this doesn't like fuck my hair up. So that's done. I'm gonna go all the way around the back because I really just want to get all the roots. The other side. Probably should have gone to a different hair salon to get them to fix it. But 
We make a choice, we stick to our choice. This isn't a good time to say like, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> we're committed now. Now, what we're gonna do, I don't have a comb, so we're using a hairbrush. We're gonna brush our hair down like this. Okay, and still split in the back, okay? Now, next step, we're going to divide it like this on an angle. Again, I don't have a comb, so I'm using my fingernail. You're gonna bring this part down. And you're gonna work on an angle with the hair to make a balayage effect. For a better video, check out my other video that's linked. You're gonna bring it down as far as you want it, leaving the top part with more of the original color here. So I have like a bunch of different colors because this guy messed my hair up. So I'm going down further, but you don't need to go down this far. You'll see what I mean when you're doing it yourself. You'll follow the natural root line. Now I'll bring that one down. Okay, like that. And make another, your next part. You should have about between five to seven of these diagonal parts that you're covering the roots with by the time you're done. And for me, I have to really make sure that I cover up those parts where he left that bleaching spots so I don't have to see that crap ever again in my hair. And next one. And you can see I'm just brushing the hair from like the back to the front every time. So that way it's going to leave like a sombre effect when the hair falls naturally. Maybe don't try this at home. <gasps> Unless you're in good spirits and you don't mind if it like doesn't work, then go for it or ask like parental guidance. And now for the last section, you're going to brush everything forward again and you're going to blend, fancy hairdresser term, blend like this and just pulling it forwards. And that's what's going to create that sombre effect. And make sure your hair is fully saturated. Another fancy hairdresser term. Now do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, I hope none of my hairdresser friends are like judging me, like mad judging me right now. <laughs> Gosh, you can just see like some of those highlights he did were so bad, they're like so bad. And we're just blending it in. Oh, sweating bullets. Okay, we're done. Now we're gonna leave it on for, it says 30 minutes if you're doing your whole head and 20 minutes if you're doing your roots. So I'm gonna leave it on for 20 minutes. 20 minuto. And I will see you guys after the shower. Hey everybody, okay, so I'm all done the shower, I blow dried my hair, unfortunately I don't have any styling tools um, because I didn't bring them on my trip because I was traveling minimally. So, my, I just blow dried my hair straight, but you can see that it is, all the roots are the same color now. Fantastic, show you the side, you can see that there's still the balayage effect, so there's still like some brighter pieces, all the way up to here even, like the brighter pieces come down. So when I curl my hair, that's gonna look really nice. And then you can see the back too. And I'll show you the side too. So remember where there was that banding here? That he left those big banding spots. So those are gone, which is awesome. And although this is not the hair color that I wanted, it still, it turned out pretty good considering I used a freaking pastry brush and some box dye in a language that I don't fully understand or speak yet. It still turned out pretty good. I am eventually like closer to my birthday because it's in another three weeks. I am going to go and get a full head of um, highlights and like foils, but I'm going to make sure that I do even more research and maybe have a consultation with them beforehand and make sure that they know exactly what I want and that they can actually do 
what I want because otherwise I don't want to take a risk with my precious, precious hair. Our hair is a huge part of our identity. So um, I know that over the years I've lost trust with so many different hairstylists when they're like, you just need like a little trim and then they like cut off this much of my hair and I'm like, you know, or, or they don't do what you wanted. And I've had some really bad um, experiences in the past. So sometimes doing it yourself and fixing it turns out okay. Um, it's a lot, like this is a very, very gold color obviously, and I don't really want gold, but it's still the summer right now, it's August, and this works for me. So I'm digging it, it's all right. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear if you tried out either of my um, tutorials. <laughs> and how they worked for you and please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn the little bell notification on beside the subscribe button otherwise youtube doesn't like to let you know when i make new videos i post new videos every single thursday and saturday so i hope to see you in my next video ciao